Hello everybody, we have made our way to the Cooler Master booth now, and I'm looking at something that uh, maybe you guys have not heard about yet, but basically Cooler Master has now segmented all of their different categories of products into three different categories, I should say. So different tiers. Uh, first and foremost being the essential, followed by mainstream, performance, as well as ultra. Now ultra is primarily only being used for the cases right now because I mean, the Cosmos 2 doesn't really fit in the other three. Uh, essentially being separated by both price as well as feature set, uh, starting with the first one being the main, or excuse me, the first one being essentials. That's going to basically allow you to have a case that's going to give you, or a headset, or a mouse, or a keyboard that's going to give you the basics that you're going to need. And then moving all the way up to performance, where it's going to give you a little bit more room to expand. But let's go into another room where they're showing off some stuff that you guys are going to be excited about. All right, guys, aside from the categorization of everything else, let's talk more about vapor chambers and the next stage of what Cooler Master is trying to bring to the table. So please, John from Cooler Master here is going to help me explain that both to myself as well as you guys. So go ahead. Thanks, Steve. This is actually a new what we call a 3D vapor chamber. And instead of having uh, separate heat pipes and a copper base at the bottom or direct contact, we've actually connected everything together. We have the flat vapor chamber here, and these look like individual heat pipes, but they're not. It's all one piece. Nice. And so what is the advantage of doing it this way? Okay, you have less thermal resistance, uh -huh. and it's actually a better contact for the heat base. So it's a direct contact from the base, where it contacts the CPU, mm -hmm. all the way up these, uh, I guess, the 3D vapor chamber, which mm -hmm. would replace the traditional heat pipes. That's awesome. And then it would go right into the cooling stack just like you see here. Awesome. So basically, it's going to conduct heat a lot more efficiently and therefore dissipate it much faster through the thin array and therefore be, make a much better cooler. Yes. So I got it. All right, let's turn around here and look at, whoa, sorry. Let's turn around here and look at the next stage of power supplies from Cooler Master. Um, you guys are doing, doing some crazy stuff with Bluetooth. Oh, yes. And actually, this is our prototype. What we're doing is we're having a digital power supply. It's mm -hmm. a titanium efficiency, but we're mm -hmm. going to be integrating a Bluetooth adapter. Oh, okay. Wow. And this Bluetooth adapter will allow you to control your power supply remotely. Mm -hmm. It'll also allow you to monitor your power supply through your smartphone. Okay. And so some of the advantages of doing that would be basically if I was going to overclock and I wanted to see maybe voltages through a rail or something like that? Oh, yes. You'll okay. be able to monitor your 12 volt, your 5, and your 3.3 volt okay. all through your um, smartphone app. Excellent. I know right now this is a prototype. It's not working properly at this moment, uh, but I did see it working and I know that it does, so that's awesome. Um, I, when, do, when can we expect both these products to come out? Well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to shoot for July and we'll be able okay. to show you more fully featured uh, planning on this. Actually, okay. this kind of product, is, when it launches, it'll have a certain amount of features. Okay. And in the future, since it has a firmware and ARM processor built into the power supply. Oh, okay. Forgot to mention that, my bad. See, uh, okay extra functionality as things go on. Okay, so basically, on top of having Bluetooth functionality, the, the you actually have ARM processor built into this as well as having firmware that can be upgraded either via through USB or through your, your portable devices. Yes. Um, going back to that though, how many different apps do you think you're shooting for at launch? Well, what we wanted to do is we have one app and okay. we'll have three or four different functionality. We'll okay. definitely have remote control, definitely have logging function, okay. we'll have a black box function. So this is a self-diagnostic function. Well. Anytime your computer can't boot, your power supply will be able to recognize if it can work. It will wow. also recognize if it has any brownouts or blackouts, if people okay. pull the cord, or um, tell you the serial number as well as the total uptime. Wow, that's, uh, that's actually really impressive. You're basically trying to cover the entire gambit with the power supply and giving you any kind of information from that power supply sure. to you. and this is all without installing any software. Nice. All you have to do is download the app to your iPhone or your Android device, well. like you have it on a tablet here, and you'll be able to uh, do all of this without a computer. Fantastic. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. All right, and some other interesting things that Cooler Master are doing are working with Cool Chip Technologies, and I have Will here from Cool Chip. How you doing, Will? Doing well, Steve. Thanks. Excellent. And I see that you're working on a brand new prototype. It looks like of some kind of a CPU cooler. That's you want to right. you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're doing is reinventing the traditional fan. Oh, so yeah. nothing big. 
Not I'm kidding. I'm, that's huge. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, basically, the, the, the problem we're addressing here is that half-century-old technology, every fan that you see in every computer, laptop, server, everywhere there's a heat load that is an Intel chip or otherwise, mm -hmm. uses the same technology. So we focused on a key insight that the fan and the heat sink are usually the same volume. And if you can figure out a way to combine those two parts into one, everything becomes smaller. Nice. Well, more than that, uh, you can see a demo here where we have a commercial server product, a one-use server unit, and you can see our engine here, a kinetic cooler that is running. You probably can't hear it unless I put the mic to it, but watch what happens when I turn on the commercial part. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I can't hear you with the commercial part on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud, and at, at this RPM, we're actually removing more heat. So we're the same size, removing more heat, but significantly quieter. Okay. And the reason for that is because, again, if you combine two parts into one, you have to size. If you fix two parameters of three from thermal size or, or acoustics, mm -hmm. the other one skyrockets and outperforms the, the status quo solution. Okay. So we can remove heat 40, 50 percent more efficiently than the traditional uh, wow. solution. So anywhere today you see a fan with a kinetic cooling uh, design, you mm -hmm. do much better. So you can see here some hardware that Cooler Master has prototyped with us. This is a sample that will eventually look something like this when mm -hmm. it hits the market later this year. So we're super excited about that. This will be intended for a high-performance gaming application. Yeah, so I mean, looking at it right now, it looks like you guys are, are probably CNCing the middle engine part. That's the part that actually drives the wind around. Is that right? That's right. Okay, and then on top of that, you have a fin array that's sort of, uh, the the fins are, are parallel to the, the wind flying out of it. Is that, am I instructing people incorrectly? Or? No, that's right. That's okay. exactly right. So what we find is that the, the, the basic part, the kinetic cooling engine piece of it, mm -hmm. moves a lot of air. If we very simply add some uh, additional surface area mm. on, the, on the peripheral of the assembly, we get, lo and behold, better mm. thermal performance. As you would expect. <laughs> while, pres while preserving acoustics. That's the key. That's the important part, right. Yeah, absolutely. So these are machine parts, but we're working with Cooler Master because they have, uh, obviously, the infrastructure for uh, high volume manufacturing. Mm. They've got a well-known brand, so we're very excited about the partnership. It's the perfect marriage of our strengths. So so this in particular is the engine itself and obviously as you said before if it's completely if it's if it's able to be the heat sink as well as the fan then it's going to dissipate more heat. Um, can you separate it for me? Yeah. You're, you're showing me this earlier so it's it's basically concentric circles that are cut out but basically channels uh, d leading inside to leave a gap for air and you were explaining to me that actually each one of these these concentric circles are offset slightly so that they're never actually touching it's just air in between both of them and you were explaining that basically that means it's going to be able to transmit heat across and I interpreted that to, to mean the same way that thermal material would transfer heat from, let's say, like a CPU mm -hmm. to a heatsink, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's we're, fascinating. We're, we've essentially, we're using air as it's conducting, right? So it's a free fluid, mm -hmm. but we're using it like a thermal paste, right? Mm -hmm. Free fluid in between that interfacing region where these grooves uh, mate together, mm -hmm. we're transferring heat very efficiently. And obviously no friction because there's nothing touching, so it can just continually allow the heat to heat up, transmit it across from exactly. the bottom point to the top point, which is where the engine is. You got it. So it's pretty it's cool. It's just a clever way of inserting the air mover into the heat transfer path. Wow. Well, Will, thank you so much for, for making something so cool and sharing with us with it with us today. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And, I, and I wish you and Cooler Master the best of luck with this. This looks thank like you. a lot of fun. It is our pleasure. Thank you.